Hi there, young artists. It's Mr. Skolton here, and we're on summer break, so it's time to think about all things summer. And one of my favorite things about summer are creepy, crawly bugs, okay? And one of my favorite bugs to see is the dragonfly. They're pretty majestic and awesome, and they're iridescent and cool colors. And so today what we're going to draw is a dragonfly. I'm even going to show you how to create this cool kind of iridescent uh, look on the wings. Here's what you're going to need today. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, eraser, a permanent marker, and something to color with. I used colored pencils. Go ahead, grab what you need, and let's get started. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with our paper horizontal. And I'm going to start here in the middle, very close to the top and I'm going to draw a small circle. Just like that. Underneath my circle, I'm going to go ahead and draw a slightly larger circle down here, and this will almost look kind of like a snowman, like or a st start to a snowman at least, right? For my last shape, this is going to be my head, the thorax, and this here is going to be the abdomen, and the abdomen on a dragonfly is really kind of long and skinny, so I'm going to go ahead and draw almost like a triangle, really long skinny triangle, but instead of making pointy edges, I'm going to make rounded edges. Something that looks kind of like that, right? I'm going to go ahead and erase that right there. There, that looks pretty nice. Now, I'm also going to give my head pair of eyes and those eyes are just going to go off the head there they're really big bug eyes okay and I can give it some shine just like that the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my legs okay and um, the legs kind of are broken into three parts and so what I'm going to do is there'll be three legs over here on this side on the thorax and three legs over on this side on the thorax. And so I'm going to start here by drawing a diagonal U shape. I'm also going to do the same thing here. Almost like the, a very skinny long letter U. And then I'm going to repeat that over here just like this. All right now I'm going to repeat these shapes over on the other side. Good. Now that I've done that, I'm going to create a series of uh, lines or shapes, basically, coming from that U shapes again. So on the top two, I'm going to draw one that's completely horizontal. And you can kind of see how the direction of the leg is changing here when I make this a horizontal line. On the next two, on the middle two, I'm going to draw a diagonal line that goes down, kind of just slightly diagonal, just like that. And then on the bottom two, my bottom two are almost going to go completely vertical, just like that. Now to finish it off, we're going to make another set of U shapes here, connecting to this one here. So now I'm going to go back up, and it should almost look like a zigzag line. Do you see how they're almost forming a zigzag line here? that. Okay, this one's going to come up just like that. Another zigzag line, and then right here. Zigzag line here, zigzag line here, just like that. All right, now we're ready for our wings. And since uh, dragonflies have such big wings, we're going to make some nice big wings here. So I'm going to start by drawing another circle. I'm going to do this really lightly because I'm eventually going to erase this circle. And from this circle, I'm going to make another set of U shapes, kind of like I did on my um, on my legs here. I'm going to start right about here on my uh, thorax from that circle that I drew. I'm going to draw a line that comes out. And when I almost get to the edge of the page, I'm going to loop back around and come back to that circle that I drew. I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. There we go. Now I have a loop over here and a loop over here. 
I need to make another set of wings here on my dragonfly. Dragonflies have four wings. So I'm going to draw another set right here. Another U down here, just like that. And I'm going to make another U. Oh, you know what? Mr. Skull made a mistake. I think I went too diagonal there. I'm going to go ahead and erase that and redraw that. Thanks for being patient with me. There, that looks a lot better. There, just like that. Now we have our head, our eyes, our thorax, our abdomen, six legs, four wings. And I'm going to come back to the thorax here just to add some visual interest. I'm going to add some stripes in the thorax. Maybe represents some actual texture that's on uh, the back of a dragonfly. And then within those stripes, I'm going to create some sort of pattern. And this pattern could reflect a pattern maybe you see in real life or um, replicates a texture that you see in real life, or it could be just crazy patterns or zen tangles. You can have fun uh, filling these in with whatever patterns you like. The next thing we're going to do is trace this. Now that you've outlined your dragonfly, uh, we're going to come back and talk a little bit about, more about how you can color this. And really the sky's the limit. You could make this uh, as realistic as you possibly can. You can research online and see what different colors uh, dragonflies are. Or you can ha have any combination of colors you want. You could make stripes uh, here on the abdomen. Um, as you can see on mine, I created mine uh, with kind of a rainbow effect. And I just did this by uh, using some of those color blending techniques that we've talked about in previous lessons. Uh, for today, what I'd like to do is show you a little bit about how you could create some really nice wing details here uh, just by color blending uh, with some very specific colors. Okay, As you can see here, I'm using versions of the primary colors. I've got a sky blue, which is a light blue, a version of blue, and then I have a nice light yellow. Um, and then pink, which is uh, a light red or, or red plus white. So um, red, uh, pink is a primary color as well. And so um, I'm going to be using these kind of pastel versions of the primary colors to create this iridescent look on the wings. To get started, like I said, I'm going to be using uh, blue and yellow and pink. I'm going to start with blue. You could really start with whatever color you'd like. And I'm just going to kind of roll along the edge of my wing like this. Um, and I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on my wing at all. And I would do this when I've already finished maybe coloring the rest of my firefly. I would color right over the top of the colors on the other objects. Um, are there parts of the, the dragonfly that I've made? You can see here, uh, for example, I just colored the blue right over the top of his thorax there, right over the top of his um, legs. And then as you can see, inside of the wings, I colored everything a little bit lighter. Um, like You can see how much lighter the leg is here than here. Um, just to give that illusion that we're looking through the wing at the rest of his body. Um, and so then once I've done this to... Uh, the bottom. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to work in here in my next complementary color. Uh, along the edge here I used uh, yellow on my example. I'm going to do that again. Um, but really whatever order you want you can use because these are the primary colors and when they mix they're just going to make the secondary colors. So there's no bad way to mix these. And when I come in with my yellow, once again I'm coloring lightly, I'm just coloring along the edge. And I'm just going to overlap some of that area there where I colored my yellow and my blue. And you can see where my yellow and my blue overlap, I'm creating green here in the wing. And then I'm going to move on to the pink. And so the pink is going to kind of work in this leftover area here. Once again, I'm coloring lightly with my pink and I'm just overlapping where the pink and the yellow are. And before I'm done, I'm actually going to overlap where the pink 
and the blue are as well, so we create a little bit of purple uh, in our wing as well. Okay. Now that I've kind of done that, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come back with my white, and I'm going to apply some pressure here, and I'm just going to color over the top of all those colors with my white and get a nice kind of white cover over the top of that. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about how we can use white to burnish colors in, help them blend together, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just using the white as a burnishing tool, blending the colors together. And as you can see, as I color over the top of uh, some of those other Sharpie lines here, or uh, permanent marker lines, you can see how um, it's also lightening up the permanent markers which again just gives that illusion that we're looking through the wings uh, at whatever piece of the body is underneath the wings. So you're just gonna repeat that step for all four of your wings. All right, so once uh, your wings are done, like I said, you could come back and color your body however you'd like. Um, it'd be fun if you had glitter, you could uh, use glitter for the eyeballs. Uh, you can decorate the background, you could add some patterns in the background. You could zentangle your background, just kind of like I talked about uh, here on the abdomen. So there's a lot of really great opportunities for creativity in this project. I hope you guys have a ton of fun making your dragonfly. If you complete it, go ahead and share it with me. I'd love to see what you've created. Thank you for watching. Bye.